I'm back to making my favorite creepy kind of Halloween videos. I'm going to be using two of my favorite things, latex and eyeballs. To make the eyeballs, I'm going to be using some paper clay. You want to roll it in between your hands and then squish it into an oval shape. I'm going to be making three of these and then pressing it around the side of the painted candle jar just to get it to follow the shape of the jar. Once I have all three eyeballs ready, I'm going to stick it down with PVA glue. If you want this to dry faster, you are going to want to use a tougher glue, but I'm trying to use up all the craft supplies that I have at the moment. I've got quite a few where I have far too many, so I'm trying to use what I have. So that's what I stuck it down with. And once it was completely dry, I moved on to some red acrylic paint. And to get this kind of very tired bloodshot look, what you want to do is you want to wet the whole eyeball first and then with a very, very light wash of red, go around the edges. Don't start off in the middle, start on the edges and then add water to get it to gradually bleed all over the eyeball to give it that very natural red irritated look. I'm going to do each iris in a different colour. One is going to be grey, one is going to be black, and one is going to be a very dark green. The easiest way to do this is just to do a circle at first and then get the brush very, very wet so that there's still a little bit of water on the bristles and then gradually blend around the edges. And this is the easiest way to do it. It's a bit more time consuming and it means that you have to take time to blend it out, but it is going to look a little bit more realistic. And then after that, once it's dried, add another two lines, one on the top left hand side and one on the bottom right hand side before adding the pupil straight in the middle. After that, you just want to add the light reflections. There's a few different things that you can go for. If you're not sure, just Google light reflections in the eye and you'll see tons of different ways to do it. But the easiest way to do it is just to do a small little dot just above the pupil on the left hand side and then a small line at the bottom on the right hand side. It's simple but effective. Now for my favourite part, the latex. You want to use an old brush that you really don't mind destroying because it will get completely destroyed or you can use your fingers, one of the two. I ended up using my fingers just because I prefer it. After a while the brush just really can't take it anymore and the easiest thing to use is just your fingers. But if you prefer to use a brush, make sure it's a brush that you're not attached to and apply several layers. Once one layer is dried, I'm going to take what's left on the palette and this is the really cool thing about latex. If you leave it, it's quite sticky and it will stick to other latex really, really well. So any blobs that you have left on the palette, cut that in half, hold down the edge, pull it around the eyeball and it's just going to stick to the latex that's already there and it's going to make for a great creepy eyelid. I'm going to keep doing this several times, adding eyelids on the top and the bottom. If you want to make it a little bit more interesting and make it have a little bit more texture, don't just pour the latex straight onto the palette. And if you don't have a palette, you can use things like baking paper or a baking tray, that will work as well, or even just a plate, just anything where you can easily peel it off. And then make sure that it dries so that it's slightly warped, not perfectly smooth, and then you'll get a much more interesting texture. But I'm going to be doing this quite a few times so that it isn't just a normal set of eyelids. I'm going to add three, sometimes four on one of them, and then in between I'm going to add more latex around the edges to blend everything out.
as many layers as I want. I'm going to clean up the edges and then after that what I want to do is take some clear nail varnish and I'm going to put this over the eyeballs just to make them catch the light a little bit more and look a little bit more real and add to the creepy factor. At first, if you've applied lots of layers of latex, it is going to look lighter, but as it ages and gets darker, it's going to go more of a kind of mummified skin colour, like you would see with a bog body if you've ever been like me and naturally googled bog bodies. And it's going to look a lot more Halloweenish the longer you leave it, so if you have the time, try and make it a little bit before Halloween so that it has time to age and wrinkle and look a little bit better. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to and that's it, you're done. <laughs>